loves and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is iris monroe you guys already know what this video is going to be about based on the title of this video yes i am covid positive i wanted to make this video because i wanted to update you guys on everything and you know why i've been slacking on youtube um it's been rough so i actually wrote everything down on a piece of paper because i just want everything to be in order i want you guys to get all the information and i just don't want to be like sloppy and everywhere you know so having an order for you guys with that being said let's get started okay so December 2nd, 2020, I was actually on my way to my ultrasound appointment um, for the twins. After my ultrasound appointment, I have to go to the hospital for my NST. An NST, if you don't know what that means, it's actually called a non-stress test. It's a uh, where you go to the hospital and they put monitors on you and on the baby. So they put monitors on my stomach and they make sure that uh, the baby's heartbeats are okay, that they're not slowing down, that they're not under any stress. So they put monitors for that. And then they also put a monitor for the contractions to make sure that you're not having contractions and stuff. So that's what an NST is. So I had an appointment to get an NST done that day, December 2nd. On my way to the ultrasound appointment, uh, I was feeling lightheaded, dizzy. I was seeing dark spots. My vision was slurry and blurry. By slurry, I mean like, you know when you're staring at something and then you turn and everything seems like to go in slow motion? That's how I felt. I felt super tired. I felt pressure, but no pain in my chest and in my back. I felt like I was getting kind of like suffocated, like someone was just like pushing on my chest and I couldn't really breathe. <clears throat> I also felt weak and nauseous. Um, my temperature was 99 point something. I don't remember clearly, but that was my temperature. After the ultrasound appointment, I went to the NST, got that done and stuff. Um, I didn't think nothing of it. I just, I didn't tell the hospital anything because I thought, okay, maybe I'm feeling like this because the babies are putting so much like, pressure on my back and it's just hard for me to breathe. Cause you know, pregnant women get like that. So I didn't say anything. I just, I told them how I was feeling, but I was like, other than that, you know, I'm good. Like, I don't think I'm at risk for COVID or anything. <clears throat> so that happened December 2nd days passed I was still feeling the same just like my slurry vision and my blurry vision and I'm super tired that's that's all the pressure in my chest kind of like went away it was it was weird <clears throat> so then December 7th 2020 came along I had an appointment for uh another non-stress test for the twins and that day was actually the day where i was getting kind of like suspicious about my symptoms i was like hold on you know like something is going on so i told them i told them that day about my symptoms and so the nurse said, oh, okay, well, I mean, if you feel worse later on or something, just come back. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, at least I let them know how I was feeling. And um, she, she said, if you have COVID and stuff, or if you feel suspicious that um, you might have COVID, just let us know and then we'll, we'll um, make way for you. And, you know, basically take all these different precautions that we have to take. So I'm like, okay. <sighs> So I went home, you know, my whatever, December 8th, 
comes along. This was a Tuesday. I went into the hospital at 9 p.m. because at that point, I couldn't take it anymore. Uh, my symptoms worsened. My symptoms were pressure and pain on chest and my back. It hurt really bad. I was crying that day because of how bad I was in pain and I was freaking out. I was like, these are COVID symptoms for sure. Like, I know that these are COVID symptoms. I don't feel comfortable. You know, I, I don't, I don't feel safe. So I cried. I cried because I'm pregnant. I have kids. I have three kids and it's dangerous. So I went into the hospital at 9 p.m somewhere around there and um again my symptoms were pressure and pain on my chest and the back i had cough i was vomiting a lot i was vomiting a lot in the hospital guys in the hospital i threw it probably like six times and the nurse was like okay yeah we need to like put an IV in her because she's not stopped throwing up and i was just doing horrible guys i was not in good shape um, I had throat irritation, obviously, probably from the freaking uh, cough and the vomiting, uh, dizziness, blurred vision. I had a very strong migraine, uh, pain in my lower abdomen when I coughed. So um, that's the reason why I did go into labor and delivery because I was scared because I was feeling pain down in my lower abdomen already. And that's not a good sign when you're pregnant. So <clears throat> I went and then I also was feeling contractions. So they had to stop my contractions. Uh, my temperature that that night was 99 point something. I don't know, I forgot. So that night I went in obviously at 9 p.m. And then they took a rapid COVID test and they also took an in-home hospital test. So the rapid test, you get the results early, like fast. But the nurse told me, she's like, we have the rapid test and we have the in-home test. She said, I recommend that you do the in-home test because it's more accurate. We've had a lot of rapid tests come out negative, but the in-home tests come out positive. So which one do you want to take? Or we can do both. And I said, you know what? I said, let's do both. I said, let's take a rapid test, but let's also take an in-home test. So we did just that. Um, the rapid test came back like about, maybe like 30 minutes to an hour later, and that one came out negative. She said, okay, that one came out negative, but we still have to wait for the in-home results. I'm like, that's fine, you know, uh, at that time, they gave me medication for my contractions, they were, they put an IV in me, like, they were taking care of me, checking my vitals, my heart rate was going up, and it was bad, like, it was so bad, guys. So, a few hours pass, and the, the results come back for the in-home tests, and that one came back positive, they're like, she was like, sweetie, like that one came back positive, like positive, positive. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like I literally just held my tears in. I wanted to cry so bad. A lot of things were running through my mind. I was thinking my kids, like my mom, I've been around my mom. I've been around, you know, my family, like so much so much things were like running across my mind that just like shattered my heart um so yeah that's what happened december 8th so like around at De december 9th around one in the morning that's when i found found out that i was covid positive after i found out that i was covid positive i you know they they sent me home they um they sent me home and then yeah, that, that was it. Came back home like around two in the morning. Now, December 9th, 
that day, like during the day. Um, my chest pain worsened uh, along with the contractions. I was taking Tylenol and medicine to stop the contractions. Mm, I was feeling my body ache and I was weak. My temperature was still at 99 point, you know, something. And Tylenol didn't help. I took Tylenol for the pain, for like my body aches and stuff like that. And like for my chest. And it didn't help at all, at all. I was taking zinc. Zinc is like this uh, pill that you take that gives you uh, immune support. So it helps your body like be strong. So that's that's how I went December 9th. I was not doing good at all, at all. <clears throat> December 10th, I had another appointment for an NST at the hospital again, but they were already aware that I have COVID. So um, they took all the precautions. They took me to my own room. They, you know, did all those policies that they had to do. And um, <sighs> my temperature again that day was 99 point something. That day when I went in, I was feeling a migraine. Mind you guys, I was only taking Tylenol and I was only taking my contraction medicine. And um, what's it called? I'm just drinking lots and lots of water. So I wasn't really taking anything because nothing was helping me so december 10th comes along i go for the appointment at the hospital for the nst again for the babies that day i had a migraine i had terrible body ache and weakness like if you touch my skin it hurts super bad guys like the clothes on my skin was hurting me i was just achy everywhere everywhere i did not even want to go to the appointment because i was in so much pain but I have to go, you know, I have no choice. They need to, to monitor the babies. They need, they need to make sure that everything's okay. So I also had chest pain. My chest pain actually had gotten worse, like worse to the point where I felt like I couldn't breathe. Like I felt like I was really being suffocated and it was just, it was bad, bad. The vomiting, I had lots of vomiting. I was throwing up a lot still. And the heartburn from being pregnant does not help. Because you know when, when you're pregnant and you have heartburn, like you could feel the heartburn right here, like on your chest. And my chest was already in pain. So just imagine just having heartburn right there and then throwing up and then coughing. It was bad. Um, I felt dizzy, I had blurry vision still, I had pain in my lower abdomen. Um, that day, I actually told him about my chest pain and how bad it hurt, so my OBGYN prescribed me antibiotics. Uh, I was told that a mom uh, had actually had COVID and um, they had to transfer her down to a different hospital because her chest got so bad to the point where she had to be put on a uh, a machine to help her breathe and stuff because she was basically like dying so my doctor took all precaution and he said let's prescribe her some antibiotics so that you know if she does have something in her chest so that it can you know help heal and make her feel better so that she doesn't get any worse which ugh, I fucking love my doctor for that guys like I have such an amazing doctor he's on top of everything all the time so uh they prescribed me antibiotics uh the Tylenol still wasn't helping I was taking zinc and then that night I lost my taste my taste oh shit oh crap sorry my phone got like a low battery notification. But um, that night I lost my taste. Um, I ha I got a runny nose and throat was a little itchy. Uh, later that day, my temperature rose to 100.7. Okay, so yes, that day at the hospital they had told me if you're, um, 
If your fever reaches to 100.4 or more, you need to come in. So I was like, man, like, I'm just so tired. I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, my fever hasn't even been rising. It's been at 99 point something this whole time. So I'm not even worried. So that day, um, I was just laying down and I started feeling horrible, like really, really bad. Took my temperature and my temperature went from 100.4 to 100.6 and then 100.7. But I didn't go to the hospital. I took some Tylenol. I was like, let me take some Tylenol and give it time, see if it goes down. So I did. I did just that. I took some Tylenol. Thank God my fever went down. And it hasn't rose back up ever since at all, like that high. Um, now December eleventh, uh, I still have the same. I still had the same symptoms, except my chest was feeling way better. I continued my Tylenol, the zinc, and my antibiotics. Still, still can still can't taste, and my body ache was controllable. So. At this point, December 11th, my the next day after they uh, prescribed me the antibiotics, it was my second day on antibiotics, my chest was feeling way better, guys. Way, way better. It's freaking insane. My pain went away. Like It was just feeling good. So <clears throat> after that, it's like everything just smoothed itself. Sm I can't talk. It just smoothed itself out. Um what's it called december 12 now <clears throat> this was yesterday so yesterday i was feeling way better no more chest pain at all at all i'm only feeling like sleepy sneezing and coughing a little that was yesterday um <clears throat> so that's good news I was feeling way better and um still continuing my you know my medication doing everything that i have to do uh, i do suffer from a lot of heartburn but however as long as my chest isn't hurting anymore i'm good what i take for my heartburn is i take um some water like let's say if if it's a cup this big i fill it up to like this much with water and then i put baking soda like a, a tea tablespoonful of baking soda and I drink it and it helps me so much. Baking soda and water is my lifesaver. I love it. Um, now today, how I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. No chest pain at all. Again, I haven't even taken Tylenol all day today and I'm feeling good. I'm, my body's not aching anymore. I'm only feeling sleepy. Um, and whenever I do feel sleepy, my eyes start to feel like, like I get dizzy. Um, I have like a little minor headache. On a scale from one to ten, it's probably like a five or a four. It's not bad. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can't smell nothing, guys. I cannot smell nothing at all. I can't taste nothing at all. My body still gets very hungry. So obviously I have to eat because the babies. I've been staying super hydrated, super, super hydrated. I drink so much water. I'm on the toilet using the restroom like 20 times a day, 10 times a night. I use the restroom so much because of how much water I've been drinking. Babies are doing good. They, um, their heartbeats are nice and strong. Uh, we did have a little scare with baby A. His heartbeat um, was, you know, going down a little bit. But then it was just like a little scare. He's fine. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just keeping hydrated now. I'm taking my antibiotic. Uh, I have, I'm taking the zinc. Zinc has been helping me. I take it at night. My mom told me to take it at night because that's when it helps you, like, a lot. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling so much better. Still, uh, kind of hard to catch my breath here and there. I cough, but not too much, just a little here and there. 
What's bugging me the most right now at this point is the fact that I can't smell and I can't taste anything. But I know that that's gonna pass and as long as I'm getting better and I'm healthier now and I can actually move around makes me so happy and makes me so thankful because things can be a lot worse but because of you know my doctors and and everyone praying for me my family and stuff and uh just me taking care of myself is helping so I thank God for that and just for keeping me safe and for keeping my baby safe um <clears throat> my babies are actually home with me right now uh my mom my mom had them she had them for uh those days when i found out that i had covid but unfortunately my mom is very sick now uh she's covid positive now too so um since i'm feeling better i told my mom mom like just bring me the kids you know god is gonna he's gonna take care of us there's no need for us to worry and stress um so far my babies are okay uh we're all just stuck with covid so you know there's really nowhere else for my babies to go so we just have to take it day by day and um just know that god is protecting us and we're just keeping faith and He's going to keep us all healthy and we're going to get through this, you know, and I pray that that virus does not go anywhere near my kids and stays away from their bodies and keeps them safe. In Jesus name, amen. Um, but yeah, guys, that is a huge update I wanted to give you. Uh, and talk to you guys through everything that I felt and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all of your support. Please pray for my family. Please pray for us. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.